Okay, today I will be showing you how to uh, install a Canon LIDE 210 scanner. So the scanner that I have right here. So the way you uh, do this is uh, if you don't have the driver with the CD, uh, the driver CD, then you just go to Google and then uh, and type in uh, Canon LIDE 210 driver, and then you'll get to this screen. So the website that has a Canon uh, LID 210 scanner is https://usa.canon.com. Uh, so if you see anything else, don't uh, click on it. So, for example, don't click on that. Just click on uh, on this this link, which starts with that. So this is where. The driver is at. So the first thing you want to do is uh, download the driver and select the right operating system for your uh, computer. So I have Windows 10, so it's just it's probably going to detect it automatically. But if it doesn't, then you just select the operating system that you have. So let's say you have Linux, then you go here and select that. I have I have Windows 10 64 professionals I'm just gonna collect here but it already detected it so you just select uh, here and download it and then just click on download I already did that so I'm not gonna do it again and also there's other things you will have to download as well not just the driver uh, you would have to download the uh, some software as well so let's see so so you go here and uh, this is the main software that you need to get your scanner to work if you don't then uh, your scanner is probably not going to work when you press any of these buttons it's just not going to work you know so um, you have to get the MP navigator EX version whatever it is it supports Windows um, XP to Windows 10 and you just go here and select it and download it again I already downloaded it so I'm not going to do it again okay and um, to use the software after you've downloaded it you're gonna get this uh, icon on your Windows um, desktop and to scan something just click on that and you'll get this menu and the first thing that you want to do before you scan is you want to specify a folder that you want to scan to so I went here and made a folder so I call it scanned you could make it whatever you want you could just go to new and make a new folder and put scan on it or something let's say and this is where um, you would scan this is where all your scanned uh, documents will go to this is a folder so let's say I go here and then I send it to my desktop because I want all my documents to go here so I can access them on my desktop without going through all that so this folder is called scan so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to auto scan and I'm going to specify a folder. I'm going to go to Browse. 
and then it was an I drive, right? So I'm going to specify it as scan in I drive. OK. And just click on apply and then just close it. And I'm going to do the same for everything else as well. So I'm going to go to save. Go to browse. I drive scan OK and apply and then close this and then do the same for copy no copy is different copy is for using your uh, this function allows you to use your scanner kind of like a Xerox machine so my printer is the HP LaserJet P 2035N. So that's the printer. If you have another printer, you can select whatever you want. I'm just going to go to cancel because I'm not going to do this. So next thing is I don't know what that function is, but I'm going to have it saved to that scan folder as well. Go here and save it to scan. And OK. And apply. And uh, close it again. And the last one is I want to, not the last one, for scan, I want to do the same thing here. Again, repetition. So iDrive, scan. OK. Apply. Close. And then for PDF. I want to do the same thing. Uh, browse, iDrive, scan, OK, apply, exit. So now I'm going to scan something in here. So the driver's installed. Like I said, the first thing you do is you scan, you uh, install your driver, and then you install the utilities. So for me, my files went here. So this is, well, I'll show you where the driver is. So this is a driver that I installed first, and then I installed this next. That was a utility, utility software utility. And now I'm going to scan, so I'm going to go to, uh, I could do it this way, so I could just press this. Well, I didn't put anything in there, so I'm going to put something in there, okay, that I want to scan. I'm going to scan this. So the way you put it in is exactly like this, scan. Got to put it near the corner. And just press down and then I press that button. So I'm going to press OK and now it's going to scan multiple pages. Okay, and I want to scan another page as well. I'm going to scan this as well and go to next. Then after you finish, just click here, and your document will be ready. So um, I'm going to go to that folder that I just created. This is what I copied. So it's right here. So that's all. That's all you do. And then after that, you just name it whatever. It's a, a manual or whatever. And now it's ready. So that's all you do. So that's how you install a Canon LIDE 210 um, scanner, and that's how you use it. And uh, you could also use this 
as like I said a uh, as a printer or a scanner so what it does is this function allows you to just use your uh, scanner as kind of like a Xerox machine like I said earlier so all you do is you copy make sure your printer is on and then right when it scans it's gonna print it in your it's gonna print it which is a neat feature for people who don't have a Xerox machine or who wish to use their computer as a Xerox machine and you could do the same thing with print so you just scan and it prints after it finished scanning it'll just print same thing okay thanks for watching